Hey, Jason from Bohemia Bees, and we're working with one of our pollination trailers tonight. This will probably be a quick video, but it'll show you how we set the pollination trailer up to move it. Um, first and foremost, you got to move them at night, and it is dusk. Uh, we worked on them today to get the uh, straps on, to get the hives strapped down, and now we're just getting the trailer ready. I always walk along the front of the hives before we leave, put a little smoke, try to get as more bees inside as possible so that we don't lose any bees in transit. Let's get to work. Since we're getting a little bit cooler night and uh, we have some bees that like to hang out. Um, so we're gonna puff a little smoke, try to coax them to go inside as much as possible. We could close the doors on some of these. It's not necessary, I don't think. Um, I think once you get the majority of them inside, you uh, they all kind of follow themselves in once you get moving and the wind kind of coaxes them in there. It's a little bit of a light hive. We gotta check that one tomorrow. We're gonna go ahead and smoke the rest of these. Okay, so we've got our uh, trailer ready to go. We have our hitch in the front, which is a crank hitch to lift the front of the trailer. We've already released the back legs. This is a four point leg trailer, single axle. We don't really use these very much in the back. You can see there's a pin. We pull them up off the ground, secure them with a cotter pin. That's important so they don't slide out while you're going down the road. You don't want that to slide out and that to drop while you're, you're driving down the road. We're gonna go over here, do the same for this. Once we hook up, the front is actually lifted. So these should have pressure now off the plate, which we can slide out the pin like this and then lift this out. Okay, so you can see we got the uh, the pin we put in, we just basically pulled this up, slide the pin in, take the cotter pin, put that in. If I can get it to sit straight. There we go. Again, that just keeps it from dropping as we drive. Let's go do the other side. When we strap the hives down, we strap with a 15 foot strap. We probably can get longer ones they're the adjustable straps. We're actually going to we're actually using these new Rhino straps. If you haven't seen these with the quick release, they're amazing. Excellent product. Definitely put a link in the description below on those so you can get your set of self set so much easier um, than using the traditional ratchet strap. Okay, so again, cotter pin in. Here's our key. We are all four corners are now up. All hives are strapped down. Let's connect this thing to the truck. And uh, about that time, you see it's, it's a little dark sunset it is quickly approaching. Let's get these girls out of here. All right, so here we go. We're gonna crank this down on the hitch and get her hooked up, ready to go. Okay, with anything, as you know, you always wanna have a chain and a pin. We uh, have several trailers so the um, chain of the pin rotates through so I don't have to have one for each one and then I'll get lost. So we're gonna go ahead and hook that up, run a chain through these side rails, hook them up, and then we're gonna take this thing that we've cranked down already, it's our jack, and slide that out. You can see there's the jack. We'll put that in the truck, take it with us. Let's get, the, get this thing hooked up.
All right, so uh, in order to put brake lights on every trailer, we could wire every trailer, but we don't do that. We've got several trailers, probably about a half a dozen or so. So we use the Bluetooth trailers, which is great because you can plug this into the back uh, power, same as a, a six plug power. And these are magnetic and they stick on the back. Let's get them hooked up. All right, so we can take these and turn them on, make sure they're tight. And right here on the back of the trailer, we can just stick it to it, just like that. And they're strong enough to not come off. You wanna make sure we tighten up the thing so they don't hop down, but they're pretty, they're very tight. And then we have the other one. Tighten them up. All right, let's test them out. All right, left signal. Here we go. Right signal. Brake. Brilliant, we're good to go. Let's get these bees moved. Okay, so we're off and uh, hey Hunter, why do we move bees at night? Because the bees cannot see at night and they need the sun to orient or they'll stay and they stay in a cluster at all night. Through the night, yeah. Through the night. So they can't see because there's no sunlight to orient. Um, so they'll stay clustered in their hive. Now, if I get going fast and there's a few bees on the landing board, they may blow off. Um, they will stay put where they blow off. They'll literally land on another tree or land somewhere on the ground or wherever they land when they blow off. And in the morning when the sun comes up, they will fly up and orient back to their old hive location. Now, we don't lose many bees when we do this. We typically close the fronts of the entrances, but that's why I smoked earlier, because I smoked them in the hive. And again, it's dark out. So by smoking them in their hive, they're gonna stay in their hive until morning. So that's the reason why we do it. We move them at night. If we moved them during the day, we would lose the foragers because they'd be out foraging. So we have to wait till night so that we have every bee as possible inside the hive. That's the reason. There we go. The bees are in their new home. I gotta turn this white light off here on the back of the truck so you can see me because the bees over here, they can't see red light. So they're not attracted to it. They won't see it. Red looks like black to them uh, based on their optics. Um, but the white light on the back of the truck, they would be attracted to. In fact, if you watch for a minute or two, you might see a bee or two flying up there. So we gotta get that turned off. But I wanted to wrap the video up and show you what we do when we move beehives their new home here at Bohemia Farm uh, on the eastern shore of Maryland. Follow us along for more 
uh, in the next chapter of Bohemia Apiary here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland as we uh, establish our partnership with their with this uh, large facility that's going to do some amazing things for the community and the surrounding area. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to follow along, subscribe, and uh, remember, beekeeping for us, well, <laughs> it's more than a hobby. It's an obsession. Thanks for watching, everyone.